Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Crazy Gamer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Monster Hunter Now game on your iOS device. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the iOS App Store on your device and once it is opened up, tap on the search box at the top section and then type in Monster Hunter Now and start your search. Once you find the Monster Hunter Now application, tap on it and you will see the Get button. Tap on the Get button and this will begin the download and installation of the Monster Hunter Now game on your device. Just wait for a while until the installation is completed. And when you see the Open button, you can tap on it to open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device. And now, once you open it up, you can log into your existing account or sign up to create a new one to start enjoying the game on your device right away. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to download and install the Monster Hunter Now game on your device. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log into your account on the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device. And once the game is loaded, you will be asked to enter your date of birth. After entering your date of birth, tap on the submit button. And now you will be asked whether you are a new player or a returning one. If you already have an account, you can tap on returning player. And now you have the option to log in with your Google account. Tap on the Google option and you will be asked to select your Google account that you are logged in within your phone. After choosing your Google account, you will directly be logged in to your account. In case you don't already have an account, you can tap on new player and you can once again choose your Google account in order to sign up with the game. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to log into your existing account on the Monster Hunt Now game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy gems within the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device and then log into your account using your Google ID. And once you are logged in within the game, from the home page, you will be able to battle through various different monsters. Now, if you wish to buy gems, then tap on the shop icon at the bottom right corner. And now you will be taken into the shop menu. Now from the top section, slide to the right side and you will find gems at the very end. Go ahead and tap on it. And now you will find various different gem packs. Go ahead and tap on your desired gem pack and you will be able to purchase this by using your real world currency. Tap on the desired amount and then proceed forward with your payment method. If you don't already have one, tap on the add option and after finalizing your payment, your gem will be delivered to your account right away. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to buy gems within the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add referral code onto your account within the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device. And then once you open it up, you will be asked to log into your Google account. Go ahead and select your Google account and you will be logged into your game. Now from the game homepage, you can directly start battling various different monsters. If you wish to add a referral code into your account, then you will need to have reached at least hero level 6. After reaching this level, you will unlock the friends menu. Go ahead and tap on your hero icon at the bottom left corner and now tap on friends. From the friends menu, tap on add friends and you will be shown your friend code. You can scroll down and you will find the invite your friends to play section. If you scroll further down, you will be shown your referral code that you can share with your friends. Just copy this code and share them with your friends. And once they sign up to the game, by using your code, you will be given some rewards. You can also add a code from your friend by using their referral code, which is also known as a friend code. Tap on the QR option if you have a QR referral code and you will be able to scan the code instead of entering the actual code number. After entering the code and tapping on the add button, the referral code will be added onto your Monster Hunter account right away and you will be given the reward as well. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to add a referral code onto your account on Monster Hunter Now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add friends onto your Monster Hunter Now account. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter game on your device and then log into your account using your Google ID and you will be logged into your Monster Hunter game right away. Now, in order to access the friends section, you will need to have completed and reached at least hero level 6. After you have reached this section, the friends section will be unlocked. Go ahead and tap on your hero icon at the bottom left corner and then tap on friends. From the friends menu, tap on add friends. 
and now you can simply enter your friend code within the add a friend section. Go ahead and type in the friend code or you can also tap on the QR section to scan their QR code using your camera or your gallery and this person will be added onto your account right away and you will be able to find this person within the friends screen. You can then join a party and start hunting monsters together with this friend and there you have it. That is how easy it is to add a friend onto the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to invite friends onto your game on Monster Hunter Now. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device and then you will be asked to log into your Google account if you haven't done so already. Just tap on your Google account from the login page and then you will be logged into your game from which you can directly start hunting various different monsters. Now from this page, if you wish to invite friends, then you will need to have completed at least hero level 6. Once this level has been reached, tap on your hero icon at the bottom left corner and then tap on friends. From the friends menu, tap on add friends and then from this page you will find my friend code. You can simply copy this friend code and then share it with your friends or you can also use the share function to send this QR code which your friend can simply click on the QR option from the add a friend menu and then add you as their friend. Once they use your friend code or your QR code to add you onto their account, you will be friends with that user right away. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to invite your friend onto the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn off sounds on the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device. And once the game is opened up, you might be asked to log into your account if you haven't done so already. So go ahead and choose your Google account to log in into the game. And if this is the first time that you are playing the game, you will be asked to clear through various different tutorial levels. After you have completed at least level 2, you will gain access to the home page which looks like this. Now from this page, if you wish to turn off your game sounds, then tap on your user hero icon at the bottom left corner and now you will be shown your hunter status. Tap on the settings icon at the bottom right and now you can see the master volume as well as the background music and sound effects volume section. You can turn down the background music as well as the sound effect volume manually and if you want both of them to be turned off, you can turn down the master volume option. After turning off your volume settings, you will no more receive sounds within the Monster Hunter Now game and if you wish to change back this setting, you can tap on your hero icon and then go back to settings and change your sound the way you like. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to turn off sounds on the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I am going to show you how to change your name on the Monster Hunter game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device and then you will be asked to log in if you haven't done so already using your credentials. After choosing your Google account and logging into the game, you will need to go through a few tutorial levels if this is the first time that you are playing the game. Now if you wish to change your username, then tap on the hero icon at the bottom left corner and you will be shown your account. You can tap on the guild card menu from which you will be able to change your Niantic ID as well. Or you can tap on settings and then scroll down and you will find the change name option underneath account. Go ahead and tap on this and now you will be allowed to change your name. Just type in your desired new name and then tap on the confirm button and your username will be changed right away. Once you change your username, you will need to wait another 30 days to change your username once more. And there you have it. That is how you can change your username on the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I am going to show you how to change the graphic settings within the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device. And once the game is opened up, you might be asked to log into your account if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and choose your Google account and then you will be logged in, after which you will be taken into the game map menu. From this page, if you wish to change the graphic settings, tap on the hero icon at the bottom left corner and then tap on settings. Now from the settings menu, if you scroll down, you will find the graphic settings. You can tap on the various graphic settings that are available and then you can go back into the game and your settings will be applied when you start your new match or as soon as you start your monster hunt. You can come back to this menu as many times as you want and change the settings without any limitation for your graphics. 
and there you have it. That is how easy it is to change your graphic settings on the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the language within the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device. And once the game is opened up, you will be asked to log in to your account using your Google ID. So choose your Google account and you will be logged into the Monster Hunter game. Now from the map menu, if you wish to change the game language, then tap on your hero icon at the bottom left corner. Now from this page, tap on settings and you will be taken into the settings menu. From this page, scroll down and you will find the language option. Tap on use device settings or your current language and you will be shown the various list of languages that are available for the Monster Hunter Now game. Just tap on your preferred language and then you will be told that your game will restart in order to apply your changes. Go ahead and tap on the OK button and the game will restart using the language that you just selected. And there you have it. That is how you can change your language on the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your location on the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device and then log into your account, selecting your Google account. After logging into your game, you will be taken into the map menu which primarily relies upon your real-world GPS data. So in order to change your actual GPS location, you will need to move around within the physical world as well. Now if you use some sort of fake GPS application, then the game will detect this and this might result in getting your account terminated or banned. So while this is not a very good option, the only way that you can move around within the game or change your location is by walking or traveling within your real world. However, you can still travel short distances by clicking on various points within the map by using your pet. And there you have it. That is all there is to know about changing your location within the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log out from your account on the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. Now in order to log out from your account, long press on the Monster Hunter Now game and then tap on the info button. This will now take you into the application info page for the Monster Hunter Now game. Now first of all, tap on force stop at the bottom right corner and then tap on OK to stop the app. Then scroll down and tap on storage. From the storage menu, tap on clear data at the bottom left corner and then tap on the delete button and this will clear all of the user data for the Monster Hunter Now game and you will also be logged out from your account. And there you have it. That is how you can log out from your account on the Monster Hunter Now game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete your account on the Monster Hunter Now game. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Monster Hunter Now game on your device and you might be asked to log into your game using your Google account. So go ahead and choose your Google account and you will be logged in to the game and you can start slaying monsters right away. Now from the home page, if you wish to delete your account, tap on the hero icon at the bottom left corner and then tap on settings at the bottom right. Now from the settings page, scroll all the way down and you will find the delete account option. Go ahead and tap on this and you will be asked whether you are sure that you want to delete your account. After tapping on the continue button, your account deletion process will begin and you will be logged out from your game within Monster Hunter Now. Once your account has been permanently deleted, you will need to open a new account in order to play the game once again. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to delete your account on the Monster Hunter Now game. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Also ring that notification bell to never miss another update from us. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video.